All right guys, what's up? Chris here. If you're not already shopping for a bike, you probably should be. And if you're already shopping for a bike, you might be in a bit of a panic to purchase one. That's because the shortage is happening. There's definitely a lot of bikes coming. It's more like during the middle of summer, June, July, if now you're starting to shop, there's a big question mark with what's gonna be left. The Trek Merlin 6 might be the answer that you're not regretting that purchase and spending that little bit extra, but still getting a really good bike. All right, so the Trek Merlin 6 is Trek's kind of up and comer into the trail bike world. Although it is still designed with the similar geometry as the Merlin 5 and 4, you're able to use this bike in the trails a little more efficiently. Things like the two gears on the front and eight on the back, you're gonna get a wider range on the back with a specific gear setup to allow for a bit lower of a range on the back, meaning you don't have to shift those front ones as often. The front ones are always a little slower shifting no matter what bike you get. So limiting that use on a trail where you're gonna be up and down and bumping around a little more, it's kind of nice that you just have a little more range in that back end. The front fork has been upgraded from the Marlin 5 to include a lockout feature. So if you don't know what this is, a lockout simply is a little switch which you flick towards the back and it stiffens up the fork. This means on big flat rows where you're trying to put out the power, big climbs, where again, the suspension is just gonna be absorbing every single pedal stroke, you can essentially turn off or limit almost all the movement of the front fork. This will make a big difference in one, climbability on rough, long, kind of gravelly climbs, or even any sort of climb. As well, the commuting side of things, it's gonna make it a little faster. When you lock that out, you're just gonna lose that kind of squish, which will absorb your pedal stroke, and it's just gonna cruise a lot faster. Yes, every bump you now hit, it's gonna be a little harder, but it's at least gonna be a little faster, and that gives you that option to do that. Comparatively with the Merlin 5, they've got the same disc brakes to it. They're a really good disc brake to it. It's hydraulic again, so very little maintenance. You have to bleed them every once in a while, but we're talking years um, in between the maintenance of it. The shifting is noticeably faster. As a person who's used both the Trek Merlin 5 and the 6, I can tell you within a block of riding this, you'll notice that shifting quality. That rear end, that rear derailleur is a lot snappier, a lot faster, and more importantly, a lot quicker into getting into those gears. So less fooling around and listening and waiting for that shift, it just clicks. It just goes a lot faster and smoother. So if you're, whether you're a fast commuter who needs those rapid changes to keep up that pace, or a trail rider who needs to shift gears quite often, you'll appreciate that upgrade from the Marlin 5. The seat is the same, the rack mounting options are the same, and the geometry is the same, so you're able to get this as a fast commuter. Lock that front fork out, you'll be a little faster. The tires are the same, XR2 is the Marlin 5, 2.2s on there, so pretty wide that they're gonna be nice and comfy over some rougher terrain, get some traction off road, bumpy roads, it's gonna absorb it a little more, but not so beefy that if you were commuting all day, every day in town on a paved road, you're not gonna have a fast little nimble bike to do it on. You do have the option, obviously in the future, to switch those out depending on what terrain you're doing more, but as a great all around tire, the XR2 is great. This one as well comes with quick release front wheels just like the Marlins, the whole Marlin series, so they are the slimmer, skinnier ones, quickly take off both the front and rear wheel, comes in handy for transportation purposes and if you ever just need to take off the wheel to repair a flat, it's quicker on the fly. You can be without many tools replacing a flat or if not any, you might not need any tools to replace a flat. The Marlin 6, they still include a comfort grip, which is a nice little touch. Again, whether you're starting out trail riding or commuting, it's based around comfort in this level of bike. If you're looking for a faster trail bike, you're gonna lose those gr comfort grips to something more aggressive where it's about holding on as tight as possible. It's pretty awesome that way. So who did they make this for? Trek 
does a really good job in making quality bikes. The Merlin 6 is no exception to that. Putting on a much faster shifting set than the Merlin 5 makes it one small upgrade in price with a huge upgrade in features. A two gears on the front and eight on the back, although it doesn't sound like a lot, is a big difference. It's gonna be a lot faster, a lot easier, and that'll relate as a commuter and even as a trail bike. So if you're looking to be a little more aggressive, a little faster, you'll really appreciate the upgrade to the Merlin 6 as compared to a Merlin 5. And that, I think, is the key point. No matter who you are, it still isn't focusing you down a trail or focusing you on a pathway. You can still use this bike for everything and be really good on it. Again, same with the Merlin 5, you cannot put an integrated dropper post to it. I've seen some hacks and bodges, which some people have got away with it, but really it's just too tight. There's not enough room around the bottom bracket there. External options are great. So if you're looking at that as a trail option, you would have to do that if you're willing to put another $300 into a dropper post. So the Trek Merlin 6 definitely is a bike which anyone can have, everyone will enjoy, and you won't ever regret spending that little bit more money on. You'll be able to do everything you think you'll be able to do on it and do it well. You won't be held back by weird shifting errors or a fork which isn't as responsive as you'd like. The lockout is there when you need it, if you need it, as opposed to not even having it at all. All the rack mounts, the bottle mounts, the same as the Merlin 5. You're able to load this bike up really well and become a good commuter with it. Honestly speaking, the Merlin 6 is everybody's bike. If you were looking for an everyday carry bike where you needed it in your pocket, ready to go, this would be it. This is the one you want with you for everything. Comes in a few fantastic colors, this bright red and this blue behind me in the men's. Then it comes in a really nice gray and um, kind of tealy blue color, which has been really popular too. Men or women, doesn't really matter. Again, the geometry doesn't change it. It's only when you go to those smaller sizes, you get a slight and narrow handlebar and the 27 and a half, and then medium and up, you go into the standard size handlebar now, and then the 29 inch rims. That's about it for this bike. If you enjoyed this one, please comment below if you've already got yours ordered or if you already have it. Tell me what upgrades you do to it. Otherwise, good luck guys, thanks.